31. Which of the following piping is more health hazardous fuel oil piping, process piping with caustic, process piping with HF acid, sulfuric acid piping? A. Process piping with HF acid. 32. What could be the consequence if there is a steam piping with a low pocket but without any steam trap? A. Condensate buildup would happen to a point that a slug will be pushed by the steam flow. This slug condensate could cause the water hammer and it could damage the piping. Thirty-three. Explain steam tracing. A. It is a process to prevent the fluid passing through a process line from freezing by keeping the temperature high for free flow of fluid and thus maintaining pumpability. Thirty-five. What is the need for a dampener in the piping of a reciprocating pump? A. It is used to handle pulsation. Thirty-six. Why do we use a full bore valve in connecting pipeline of launcher receiver? A. It is used for pigging. Thirty-seven. Classification of flanges according to facing. A. Flat face, raised face, tongue and groove, and ring type joint. Thirty-eight. What are the different types of gaskets? A. Full face, spiral wound, octagonal ring, metal jacketed, and inside bolt circle. Thirty-nine. Where should we do a branch connection in a pipeline? A. The branch connection should be on the top side of the pipe if the fluid is gas, air, or steam. The branch connection should be on the bottom side of the pipe if the fluid is liquid. 40. Where should a boiler feed water pump must be located? A. It must be located close to the deaerator, because these pumps takes water from the deaerator. 41. What is the need for drip leg in a steam line? A. It is used to remove the condensate if there is a rise in the pipe along the flow direction. So if there is no drip leg in a steam line then it could cause pipe damage due to a water hammer. 42. What is the need for high point vent and low point drain in a pipeline? A. The high point vent will remove the air during the hydro test and the low point drain would drain the water after the hydro test. 43. Why do we use blind flange in a pipeline? A. It is used if there is a change that should be done for piping in the future and also for cleaning and inspection. 44. Where should be a centrifugal pump must be located in a vacuum service? A. It must be located directly below the tower. 45. What are the requirements for suction line? A. Reducer, strainer, block valve, pockets, proper straight length. 46. What are the requirements for discharge piping? A. Pressure indicator, reducer, block valve, check valve. 47. How can we locate feed nozzle? A. It would be oriented in a specific area of tray by means of internal piping. 48. What are the types of compressor drives? A. Gas turbine, electric motor, steam turbine, and gas engine. 49. What is galvanizing? A. It is the process in which the surface of iron or steel will be covered by zinc. 50. What is the need for a loop in a piping? A. It is to control the expansion and contraction of a pipe due to the change in fluid temperature. 51. Explain full couplings. A. A pipe segment can be connected to the other one with the help of this device.